Hello, and welcome to our webcast entitled, The True Cost of Cheap Film. My name is Christopher Beyer. I'm a Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Tripwire, and my background is in information security, working in the industry for over 22 years. During the webcast today, we'll start with an introduction to what FIM is and where it all started, including several worthwhile use cases beyond monitoring just files. I will then discuss some of the common problems presented by cheap FIM alternatives and free open source software, which I've come across when working with customers. You really do get what you pay for, and these problems you know, are more costly than, than you realize. Finally, we'll wrap up with how Tripwire solutions can make FIM easier and summarize with some key takeaways. So let's get started. What is FIM? Where did it come from? File integrity monitoring, FIM, also called change monitoring, means monitoring files to see if and when they changed, how they changed, who changed them, and what would it take to change them back. Obviously, many files do legitimately change over time, particularly during you know, patch cycles. But most files are generally static, and changes to core functions, such as the IP stack or email client configuration, often indicate some type of problem. This active security control allows you to define a set of files, both system and other files, gather a baseline for what they should look like, and watch for changes. FIM is particularly useful in detecting unauthorized changes and malware as well. You know, in addition to you know, compliance and, and being compliant with regulations you know, such as PCI DSS. So FIM, where did it all start? Tripwire Inc. was founded in 1997 and launched its first product known as Tripwire for Servers, which was commonly known as Change Audit. But it all started off with Gene Kim as a university project back in 1991, where he and a lecturer invented a concept to, to detect the presence of a famous worm known as the Morris worm. In 1992, Gene invented Tripwire open source to detect changes on Unix systems and whether uh, these changes were malicious or accidental. Toward the end of the 90s, the internet e-commerce boom was fully underway, with online use of credit cards kind of soaring. To prevent and detect online theft to cardholder data, Visa started Cardholder Information Security Program, or CISP, which contained 12 required sets of security controls that all merchants and processors were required to comply with. This is when Change Audit was renamed to FIM, File Integrity Monitoring, and Tripwire was named as a solution in the CISP. At the end of 2004, CISP was used as the basis to create the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, or as we re finally refer to as the PCI DSS. And this was version one was launched. In 2006, the PCI Council decided to remove all vendor references from the standard when it launched PCI DSS 1.1. Over the years, the PCI DSS standard has evolved, but file integrity monitoring is still a key requirement, and it's often referenced in, in later versions of the standard. FIM and change detection is also mentioned in a number of other standards and policies as well. FIM certainly has a history in, in compliance, but let me tell you how FIM is more than just compliance and is critical to your security strategy and security program. FIM is how you achieve integrity. In the confidentiality, integrity, and availability model, integrity ensures that your systems are complete, whole, and have not changed. FIM is how you do that. But moreover, FIM is an essential foundational control that serves other controls like secure configuration management. Detection. Detection is why FIM is so critical, especially in the context of, of SCM. Secure configuration management helps prevent cyber attacks by creating a known and trusted state for servers and databases. FIM automatically detects when those states have been changed you know, by a threat or, or may indicate that a threat is present. 
FIM-powered SCM tools can be thought of as dynamic SCM, able to continually and dynamically assess vulnerabilities as they arise. SCM powered by external scans, on the other hand, or passive SCM, can only tell you if a setting was compliant at some point in time. Because of this important difference, many SCM vendors view FIM as an irreplaceable detection engine powering their secure configuration management solution. In that light, have you left your system integrity to the lowest bidder? So I want to bring up the concept of true FIM and how true FIM delivers integrity. As we discussed earlier, FIM is an essential part of your security posture, but there are other areas that must be monitored for change. For example, databases. With databases, you can monitor a number of things, such as the content of a specific database, the schema, the rules and, and permissions the database has, and so on. Now, I get asked time to time, why would you want to monitor for changes on a database that, by design, updates often? Well, you probably wouldn't you know, monitor from a content perspective, but I would strongly advise to monitor the access rules and permissions of that database. These shouldn't change that often. And then there are some databases that remain static. Those are the ones you would report on if a new record was added, changed, or deleted. Directory services, or more commonly known as Active Directory, we have a, quite a few customers who use you know, Tripwire solutions to monitor for change in Active Directory, whether it's monitoring for a new user added or someone is added to a restricted Active Directory group. It's widely acknowledged in some organizations there are a number of changes made to Active Directory outside the change control process, you know, where customers are unaware. By monitoring Active Directory, this gives the customers full visibility of all the changes that are made. Now, I worked with a, a customer last year who purchased Tripwire and enabled Active Directory monitoring. They were able to determine that a domain admin was adding standard users to the domain administrators group for about 30 minutes and then removing them on a weekly basis. These changes were outside the change control process and therefore unauthorized. The customer was able to identify the user being added and the administrator who was adding them. Subsequently, one of the employees no longer works for that organization. Virtual and cloud infrastructures is another area that can be monitored for changes. For example, monitoring for changes if a new virtual machine is created, modified, or deleted. Often cloud providers offer elastic pricing as new server instances are started and used. It's important to have visibility to changes in your cloud environment so you can help control your costs the way you expected in adopting cloud services. And network devices, such as routers, switches, firewalls, etc., you name it, via a command line interface, such as SSH or Telnet, rules can be run to pull back specific configurations, such as access control list, firewall rules, configuration information. And if changes have occurred in, in, in this set of information, they can be reported on so you know what has changed. Now, there are some changes that shouldn't be made because they pose an increased risk to the environment. Critical configuration files are just one example. Each of these files contains one or more configuration settings, values, that must be predefined in a particular state or range to meet and maintain security policy. If any of these files is changed, the setting values must be immediately reevaluated to determine if they are still within policy. Application executables, or EXE files, of a mission-critical application are another example of files that should possibly generate an alert if, it, if they're changed for any reason. True FIM not only knows what has changed, but it also knows if certain files are supposed to change and if the actual change was, is within policy. Without the ability to analyze change and, and understand you know, whether that change is appropriate, you have little more than just noise. It's about maintaining a desired state. True FIM allows you to know what state you are in and maintain that state. 
This is only possible if you have a version-based architecture to filter out low-risk changes, those changes that are expected, from high-risk changes or unexpected change. Most FIM solutions lack these capabilities. Maintaining the desired state is at the core of you know, best practices for security. If you constantly apply the best practices, you get compliance for free. It's simply a byproduct of these daily operations. A little used and valuable benefit from TrueFrim solutions is the ability to monitor change in command output. This is especially valuable to IT operations who are maintaining uptime for critical infrastructure. Now that we've looked at some of the use cases that TrueFrim brings to the table, let's take a look at some of the costs of bargain basement FIM solutions, often referred to as check-the-box FIM. Being with Tripwire, I've had the pleasure of meeting a number of, of prospects who are looking to in, invest in our solutions. And I've been able to put together uh, some of the comments and feedback I've received from organizations really into the misconceptions they have about file integrity monitoring and the outright concerns that they've experienced with bargain basement FIM options. Let's start off with an obvious one and a question that I get often. And it sort of goes like this. Surely, if I start monitoring for my endpoints for changes, I'll be inundated with a number of alerts, and which could potentially be false positives. Well, my answer to this one is, is a simple one. Yes, if you turn monitoring on for everything, then you will see a lot of alerts. The thing is, when it comes to FIM, you should be interested in monitoring specific files or files that we would classify as critical files. We don't need to monitor absolutely everything there is on an endpoint. That would be too onerous and time-consuming and generate a lot of unnecessary alerts. So your FIM solutions should allow you to focus on files that are deemed critical, such as the System32 folder or specific registry keys in Windows or the bin and configuration folders, such as the, the, the ETC on Linux or Unix, etc. These files should not change that often. Therefore, we shouldn't be getting many alerts. And when you, they do change, if you integrate your FIM solution uh, with other technologies, such as a service management solution that manages change requests, or refer the feeds from patching providers such as TechNet from Microsoft, you can further reduce the amount of alerts and false positives, allowing you to focus on those changes that were deemed unauthorized. Sometimes concerns are raised about endpoint overload and performance factors. Like any good vendor who relies on having software on the endpoint to monitor for change, you know, agents are optimized to ensure the minimum impact to, to the system in question. I generally talk about the advantages of, of an agent on the endpoint and what capabilities it brings along with how it integrates with the operating system. In Tripwire's case, it does have an agent that sits on the endpoint. The main advantage of having agents enables Tripwire to monitor changes in real time. It also enables access to other functions and features, such as configuration management to ensuring endpoints are compliant to the specific standard or policy. Due to the way the agent is optimized, there is minimal to no impact in monitoring files on the endpoint, which has been tested in a number of customer environments. Another kind of misconception is, how does FIM help me with data security? At a basic level, FIM will verify that important system files and configuration files have not changed. These should only change when there is an update or patch that is implemented. If it changes at any other time, then it could be a piece of malware or a virus that could be trying to harvest data to exfiltrate it. Current security measures in place may only be focusing on signature-based changes. Therefore, if there's a zero-day attack, FIM will detect that change and become the must-have security defense measure. Similarly, for configuration files and computer configuration settings, if they were altered in a way that could weaken the system security posture, having integrity monitoring would detect these changes and help you remediate before a breach occurs. Our 
often there's uh, 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 talking about noise when when it comes to to uh, looking at change. There's often a lack of context in, in, into a change. Some customers have seen other technologies out there that do basic levels of, of file integrity monitoring. So I can understand their concern when they inform me that they don't really get context about the, about the change. You know what what is this all about? Um, and they simply detect a change on an endpoint. They give them a date and time and the name of the file that changed. For some, that's all they want. But if, they, if you ever have to do an investigation or further ascertain what has changed and who made that change, uh, context becomes that much more important. With Tripwire, we add information about the change. The software will tell you, you know, things like the timings, what file was changed, who prov uh, provided or made that change, you know, where Applica will tell you, you know, what changed inside the file, registry, or configuration setting. This enables users to understand more about what the change was and verify whether it's legitimate or not. One of my favorite observations you know, is FIM only monitors files, you know, file systems. This is simply not true. There's so much more uh, to integrity monitoring than just looking at the file system. But coverage needs to include more than just Windows solutions. And many, many solutions fall short uh, of providing this, these extra you know, components. As we continue with sort of the, the costs of, of bargain basement FIM solutions out there, and you know, it's, a, it's an easy one for me to throw out, but we do need to talk about product quality. You do get what you pay for. And some open source FIM and, and bargain basement solutions really don't have the QA, that documentation, or really the, the backing that, that a, a, a commercial product would, would have with their company, where you're going to get the tech support that you need, or you'll get the, uh, the updates that you need in, in a timely fashion. It's important, if we've learned nothing so far in, in this presentation, it's important for your change, your, your FIM solution, those things that are detecting change, to be able to integrate with other systems inside your, your, your security environment or, or your ecosystem. So those solutions that, that you know, are, are less expensive may lack the available APIs or, or integrations, which really reduces their value to your, your greater security posture. You know, somewhat different than just the product quality uh, is what, what is the, the, the security kind of stance for, for a, a bargain basement solution. Not all products have the ability to protect themselves, much less the, the data in your environment. And if a, a bad guy were to be able to take advantage of, of a vulnerability introduced by your change management system, say to manage you know, and view those changes themselves, they might find a, a weakness that, that they were able to exploit. So it's important that, you, you, know, that you, you, you consider the security of, of your, your FIM solutions as well. Now reporting. Now, every system should provide some basic level of reporting. What I really want to say here is advanced reporting. You know, are you getting the, the, the you know, 20 pages of, of changes that are happening in your environment, or are you getting the, the smaller subset of these are the important unauthorized changes that are happening in your environment and, you're, and, and able to make it actionable? So lack of, of this advanced reporting renders collected change data uh, pretty useless, and, and that's what a lot of customers have, uh, have you know, complained about in terms of, of noise, when in reality, it's, it's finding the, the sharp needle in, in the stack of needles that, that you need to take care of. And finally, it's just scalability. Uh, a, a lot of these uh, you know, lesser solutions you know, only monitor a subset of, of files on the system or only monitor a subset of, of, of systems in your environment maybe even a hundred or less. And if you have a thousand critical servers out there, 
you, you want to, to make sure that you can supply the, this level of, of security and capability across your entire enterprise. So having a, a solution that scales is, is going to be very important as well. So here I've tried to provide uh, a bit of a quick reference for how to compare uh, you know, your options and, and, and your FIM solutions. Certainly, uh, if, if you're looking for something that just detects files in Windows, um, nearly every solution out there should be able to do something like that or give you basic reporting on, on file changes uh, to, to meet some sort of, of, of checkbox requirement. Certainly, a lot of solutions will, will be able to, to do that. But that's where sort of the comparison ends. If you're looking for a true FIM solution that you know, delivers more value beyond compliance into your security and IT operations you know, capability, that's going to give you context about changes to support multiple operating systems, really has features to reduce the noise and, and allow you to focus and concentrate on, on changes that may affect your, your environment or to provide uh, understanding of this change in real time. The, these are the attributes of a, of a true FIM solution, and open source solutions and bargain basement solutions uh, may lack the, the, these attributes um, as you're looking for the, uh, a valuable solution. So take, take this uh, chart as, as, uh, as, as a guide uh, and to look for, for those things that are going to provide you the best value. Now, as we explore you know, capabilities provided by Tripwire, most people know us for our file integrity monitoring. This was our first product, and we're still the best in the industry at detecting integrity changes, not just in files. But what we've added is configuration and policy management to this core capability to make it more robust and useful, including adding automation to reduce workloads associated with compliance management. On top of that, Tripwire is able to add log management capabilities so that we can make sense of the data generated by operations. And we've acquired technology in vulnerability management to help you identify the biggest risks on your network with the industry's most precise risk scoring algorithm so you can set actionable priorities. We've integrated all of these uh, capabilities seamlessly for real risk reduction in, in your environment. And have then you know, created an open you know, integration with many of the other you know, security and operation systems in your ecosystem. So together, this makes up uh, uh, the portfolio of, of products that yeah, Tripwire brings to the table. Now we've covered a number of areas where we can monitor for changes such as file systems, databases, Active Directory, virtual and cloud infrastructures, network devices. But through automation and continuous monitoring, we can start to reduce the risk and operational costs and apply context and get visibility to what has changed within your environment. Through integrations with third-party you know, systems, such as service management or threat integration, we can you know, hone in on those unapproved and unauthorized changes to help detect zero-day attacks occurring in real time within your environment. So let me cover three takeaways that I hope that you, you've received from, from this presentation. We've covered a number of misconceptions about file integrity monitoring and you know, shown that it doesn't have to be an onerous task to help you reduce risk within your infrastructure. But more importantly, that file integrity monitoring is a foundational control, really necessary to achieve integrity and build trust in your security systems. That FIM is much more than just monitoring files. You know, hopefully we've shown that databases, Active Directory, virtual and cloud infrastructures, network devices have changes that can significantly cause disruption in your environment if, if you know, malicious or even accidental. And don't forget you know, about you know, powerful command output capture rules 
which expands the SIM capability to detecting changes in, in applications and platforms. Finally, it's about integration with other technologies, such as change management solutions or threat integration solutions or policy you know, uh, you know, management solutions so that we can provide rich context and validation to changes that are discovered. Thank you so much for your time today. Let's go ahead and open it up to questions. Hey, very good. If you do have a question, please go ahead and use the uh, question and answer widget at the uh, at the bottom of the screen, I believe. And let's see what we got going on. Hey, I appreciate everybody's uh, time today, by by the way, and, and listening to me drone on. But uh, okay, here's a question. Hey, we use FIM for uh, SOX compliance for about 25 systems. And we just care about, uh, you know, ensuring that, that unexpected changes are, are, are not happening in our system. How, how does Tripwire reduce the volume of changes that, that we have to deal with? Now, this is, this is a, a great question. It actually goes along with a number of other questions that uh, I also see in the queue here uh, uh, about the, the issues with BIM and, and uh, reducing noise. Because I think this is one of the, the big issues and why customers, you know, folks don't use FIM more than just a, a, a checkbox is something they have to do for compliance. And the reality is, is, is there are a number of ways to, to deal with noise. And, and first, and what we talked about uh, earlier in the presentation, was really limiting um, what you're monitoring you know, to, to those critical files, to, to those critical directories that uh, you're really looking for, for whether change is occurring in. Second um, is to... Uh, look at what you're using for your, your change management system. And we have the ability to integrate with, with a, a number of change management systems out there so we can take the changes that are occurring, you know, check it against the change management system. Is this something that you expect? Is there a ticket for this change already? And really eliminate, or what we call promote, all those changes that you expect. You know, and once they're promoted, they're out of your queue. You're not seeing them anymore. This bubbles up. Those, those changes that are unexpected, un unauthorized, um, as the case may be. And this is, you know, further how you can, you can reduce the, the, the volume of, of alerts that you're going to see against change. So this is, this is how you do it, and ultimately how you take a FIM solution and use it to, you know, ensure not just compliance but also security, you know, kind of concerns as well. Let's see here. Um, what other questions do we have here? How does Tripwire, let me see. How does Tripwire FIM compare with the competition like, like UpGuard? Um, another great question. I, I think you can use the, the, the uh, chart that I, that I sort of deliver at the, at the end here um, just to compare, you know, all kinds of, of, of FIM kind of, kind of solutions and companies out there. Um, the reality is, you know, obviously I'm biased. But, but Tripwire invented FIM. We, we've done this for, for you know, nearly 20 years now, and uh, I still think that we're the best at, at providing what I, what I described as, as true FIM and true FIM capabilities that go beyond just checking a box. To be able to use FIM, not just for your compliance, but also for you know, IT operations you know, kind of capabilities, security kind of capabilities, by delivering um, the, the, the reduced alerts with a proper context in, in terms of, of data set so you can really get the information that you need out of what changed in your environment um, in order to prioritize, the, you know, how you respond. So and, and there's a lot of companies out there that, you know, are, are new to the market. They're, they're, they're really just trying to give you what you need to, to check the box for your compliance when in reality, this is an investment that, that, you, that you made maybe for compliance, but you can get so much more value out of it if you have the right capabilities that, that a true friend solution is going to give you. 
and Tripwire uh, is 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 a leader here. We we provide that capability. I have a question here. Can you re recommend some some metrics for for uh, I, FI financial institutions? Is that correct? Can can uh, you uh, expand on that on that question for me a little bit? Maybe maybe throw in another another entry, kind of what you're looking for. That would that would be helpful. Oh, for FIM, <laughs> the metrics for FIM, right? Um, that's a great question. Is it really going to come down to how how you're using FIM? Um, is it just for compliance? Is it you know, or are you are you using it for for some other you know kind of pieces to it? Are you asking you know how how many changes you should be expecting? Um, you know, again, to what are you uh, what are you what are you managing? What are you what are you really looking to monitor with with your FIM solution? So I, I, it's not as easy a question as to say, hey, you should expect so many changes a, a, a day or a month, or you know this this solution uh, should be providing this you know amount of of, of uptime if you, if you can catch some things but when i when i look at it uh and and maybe your the the question's more from a, a value uh kind of statement yeah look more information we like more information using fim pc threat intelligence uh well these are all kind of components of the of of the same function um, think of FIM not from a, a metric standpoint, but from a detection standpoint. Um, I think of FIM as one of those technologies that is your initial, your first opportunity to detect a change that's happening in your environment. Now that change may be good, may be bad, may be uh, inadvertent, may be internal, may be, may be external. This is where you need the context of what changed in your environment and your ability to integrate into an ecosystem so you can you know take that initial contact that initial alert and and make a better determination of, of how to respond uh, so absolutely um, we have the capability tripwires capability with with tripwire enterprise to to take that that context of, of that change that's happening in the environment we integrate with several threat intelligence kind of solutions out there to send files up, understand their disposition, so that we can give you even more information about what that change is doing or, or, or what the purpose of that change was. In addition, integrating with your, your service management solution so you can determine whether that change was authorized or not. Integrating with your SIM solution so that you can take change data and context and 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 you know, get a visibility across the enterprise of what's happening, you know, everywhere and, and seeing if you're seeing similar changes on, on other systems um, in your environment. All these things together as part of the ecosystem is, is what brings the most value from, from a FIM solution. So, so I don't know if that uh, helps answer the question in terms from, from a metric standpoint, but I believe that FIM is a foundational technology uh, more than just you know a compliance technology that you need to run, but but a technology that that helps you in in a lot of different places. So hopefully that that helps answer that question for you. Another question we have: corporate security policies that are based on on NIST, but differ in many cases. Are there ways to monitor our custom policies in Tripwire? Um, the answer is, is absolutely yes, and there's a number of uh, different you know, frameworks that you can possibly use, whether it's NIST or CIS controls or, or what have you out there. Um, Tripwire has some of the, the, the largest library of, of uh, policies and, and, and compliance kind of standards pre-built, you know, built into to our software. And again, going you know, back to, to you know, how I described this a little bit in the presentation, FIM is your detection engine to get the most out of your, 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 your policy and compliance, whether it's a specific policy for, for a, a particular regulation or framework, or a policy that you've created yourself, or a hybrid of the two. If you've taken a policy and modified it to, to meet your own you know, security needs, FIM, you know, again, is that technology that, that is that detection engine 
so that you know when changes have occurred and you know when a system you know, drifts out of policy or not at, at its early, earliest convenience. So that's, uh, that, that's, that's the secret sauce to how to get uh, you know, extended value or real value out, out of your, your compliance FIM solution. So it really comes down to does your FIM solution have those extended capabilities? Do the, does it have the, the, the context capability? Does it have the ability to look at more than just files? And, and really fall into that true FIM, you know, kind of kind of category. So this is this is uh, you know really look at at uh, you know your your investment here. Have you put your integrity? As I said in the presentation, have you put your integrity? Have you given your integrity of your systems to the lowest bidder? And uh, you really think about that and, and the extra value you can get from from your FIM solution. Let's see if there's any other questions. Okay, sounds good. If you, again, if you do have a question, feel free to uh, type it into the, uh, the the question widget. Give it. A, we'll give it a minute here. See if anything else comes in. Okay. Well, great. I, I appreciate everybody's time today. Uh, I always love to give you time back. So uh, getting get an extended lunch in, I guess, for another, another 20 minutes. And uh, thank you very much for, for the presentation.